Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Andy B, and Fire Emblem Engage comes out this week. Let's babble on about that. What's going on, everybody? So if you've been a longtime fan of the channel, you'll know that I absolutely adore the Fire Emblem franchise. Whether it's the old GBA games all the way to Three Houses and even Three Hopes, the Musu-style game, I absolutely freaking love Fire Emblem. So needless to say, I was pretty over the moon excited about Fire Emblem Engage, especially reading some of the previews and stuff like that, which we're going to go over here in a second. But before all of that, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let's get right into Fire Emblem Engage, shall we? So in prep for this video, I actually did some research. Check it out. Yeah hard-hitting journalistic research but for real i actually did do some research and before you play engage maybe watch this video because i'm going to tell you a couple of things that are a little different between three houses and engage now from what i'm understanding and reading if you were a fan of three houses chances are you might not be the biggest fan of engage because let me rephrase that if you came into the franchise with three houses being your first fire emblem game and you really loved all of what Fire Emblem Three Houses had to offer with its school academy and all these different things, you know, the Persona-like gameplay. Sorry to let you down because Engage isn't going to have that. So Three Houses was kind of like a departure from the franchise. It kind of did its own thing for a little while, and that was adding all the Persona-like things. So we're going to just dive right into some of the differences between Fire Emblem Three Houses and Fire Emblem Engage and maybe go over a prediction of what that Metacritic score is going to be. Let's get right into it. So like I said, I did some hard-hitting research, and I wrote down some key features and differences between the two games. And in Fire Emblem Engage, here are some of the new features that they're adding. The Simoniel, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's kind of like a hub where you interact with characters. I've seen people in reviews talk about some of the things you can do here at this like hub world, and it's pretty similar to some of the stuff you could do at the Academy in Three Houses, whether it's fishing, cooking, you know, uh, doing different things with different characters, kind of just seeing how you interact with other people in this one you can have like fitness things now you can like work out and stuff like that it's kind of interesting kind of weird kind of cool so that's kind of a big difference between three houses and fire Emblem engage is in this one you just kind of have this hub world it's not as engaging as three houses was where you could really dive into different types of relationships and stuff like that from the previews i've read you don't really have that many options, but a lot of people who got their hands on the game only got to play up to chapter eight. So who knows, maybe further along in the game, they unlock other features. Moving along. So you recruit troops throughout the game, which is a big feature they took out in Three Houses, which I hated. I did not like getting, you know, sp picking your specific like route and having your classmates. And those were the people that you had for the whole game. Now, if you've played the game and like for Three Houses, for example, if you've played through the game, you can kind of get like this new game start and you can kind of have your bylift have different attributes carry over from your other game, which was cool, whatever. And then you could recruit other classmates mates to join you from different houses didn't care for that i prefer old school style fire emblem where you're in the trenches right and you see a troop and it's got a specific name because most of these characters just have like undead army or you know base npc names but sometimes you run into those troops out there in the wild that have actual names perfect case in point fire emblem the blazing blade 2003 gba favorite Fire Emblem game of all time. One character named Guy, chapter 13. If you play on normal mode with Elliot Wood, you can have Matthew the Thief go up to Guy and talk to him and recruit him. And for those who don't know, you can also use this little tiny glitch with a mine, where if you use the mine, have an enemy troop land on it, hurry up, restart the game by turning it on and off, continuing the gameplay, you take over the enemies. It's sick, you can delete all their items, like throw them away, you can have them back each other stuff like that really cool way to level up your character class if you didn't know that little tips and tricks for fire emblem blazing blade game that came out 20 years ago old i'm old man see i'm happy that they brought back the recruitment of troops i think that's really fun Moving right along, a big feature that came back in this game that I'm also pretty stoked about is the weapon triangle. So for those who are new to the franchise, Three Houses didn't really incorporate this. So the weapon triangle was swords beat axes, axes beat lances, and lances beat swords. So you have troops that are better and more proficient in those specific attributes and classes, 
and they can take down other troops. It made the game a lot more interesting because it was like a game of chess. Kind of like what a strategic RPG is like. So I'm happy to announce, hey, Fire Emblem Engage brings that feature back. Surprised it really wasn't that big in Three Houses. In fact, I didn't really pay too much attention to notice, but you really could just take like Byleth or even Edelgard and just steamroll the whole entire game. I really feel like Fire Emblem Three Houses was baby's first Fire Emblem. I still gave that game a perfect 10 out of 10. Love that game so much. But if that's Fire Emblem's, you know, baby mode, I'm super stoked for Engage. One of the last things I wanted to talk about was the ring system. So the ring system gives you 12 heroes from older games, and this is a bond with characters to create new strategies and interesting ways to battle. That is the main gimmick of Fire Emblem Engage, and I know you've seen the previews and trailers for this game, so you've seen them how Marth is in it, Lynn is in it, Ellie Wood, whole bunch of different characters, Roy, Ike, you know, uh, the first DLC pack comes with Edelgard, you know, and the three main characters, Claude and Dimitri from Three Houses. You can get them as one of their bonds and stuff like that. And what this does is it bonds to a character and engage, and it gives you a whole new way to play. So if you're using Marth, for example, he's really good with swords. So any character you're using that is going to use this new technique to bond with Marth is going to be much more proficient at using swords. So if you have an axe wielding character or even a magic user, you bond with Marth, and then boom, now you're a sword wielding son of a gun. But I think what it is though is not every single character can bond with these 12 rings, or maybe they can. I could be lying, I'm not 100% sure. I didn't really see too many people talk and dive deeply into that, but I think it's just like main characters of the story. I don't know, we'll find out more when the game comes out. And like I said, the last little bit I wanna talk about big differences is these games are completely different style Fire Emblem games. Three Houses was something new. They didn't really do stuff like that before. Awakening kind of gave us more, you know, a sneak peek into building out relationships, having families and stuff like that. Whereas Three Houses really relied on friendship, falling in love. I mean, spoiler alert, Byleth gets an engagement ring and you can get married to someone at the end of Three Houses in the story. So I don't really see that happening in Gage. So one thing really quick, uh, I found this article on a website called Touch Tap Play. Uh, I'm not even going to try to um, say the person's name that wrote this article. I will link this down in the description below, but this is Biggest Differences Explained. So we're going to take some time to read through this and kind of figure out what some of the biggest differences are. So let's do that, shall we? We're here to present the biggest differences between Fire Emblem Engage and Three Houses. So let's dive in and see what surprises are in store for you once you get your hands on the newest game. So one of the first things they talk about is the visual difference and performance. We're starting with the most obvious element and we're happy to say that Fire Emblem Engage looks better than what Three Houses brought to the table. While some visual aspects can be a matter of taste, for example, the more contrasting color palette used by the new artist Fire Emblem Engage works better in our opinion, the new game brings considerable improvements in more objective segments as well, environmental textures for instance. Noisy, pixelated visuals of Three Houses are a thing of the past. While the issue is not completely eradicated, Engage handles these issues much better so the players have a much cleaner experience. Also, while the target frame rate remains 30 frames per second, Engage manages to keep it much steadier, with occasional hiccups, for example, slightly choppy transitions between the overview mode, map, and battle scenes. Another thing they talk about is the game pace differences. Compared to Three Houses, Engage is more linear and much more fast paced. The story progresses fast, and it may sometimes feel like you're jumping from one battle or location to another without catching a breath properly. This accelerated pace also shows in the treatment of your new home base. If I'm Engage, you are based in beautiful floating Somniel, but this location won't distract you as much as the Academy in Three Houses. So this kind of goes on a little bit to talk about what I was mentioning earlier, so I'm not going to be redundant and repeat a lot of what I said. Here's a big one, the gameplay differences. Fire Emblem Engage brings several bigger and smaller changes to the system established in Three Houses. In that regard, Engage feels more like an entry from the pre-Three Houses era than a continuation of the mechanics that were the emphasis of the 2019 game. One of the biggest changes in Fire Emblem Engage is that you can now explore the battlefield once you clear it. This innovation is great because it feels more interactive and immersive and allows you to collect missed items and even find and adopt adorable pets as you go. And like I mentioned earlier, won't be redundant because I'm not going to repeat myself, but the weapon triangle is back, which they go on to talk about in this article as well. So that is definitely fun and exciting. There's a lot of different stuff, right? There it goes. Cool. We're back. We're back in business. So anyway, there's a lot of big differences between Three Houses and Engage. And my overall takeaway is if you're a fan of Fire Emblem, you're going to like this game. If you're a fan of pre-2019 Three Houses, you're going to love this game.
if your first entry into Fire Emblem was Three Houses and you're expecting Engage to follow along a similar beat as Three Houses, you might be let down a little bit. So that's why I wanted to bring up the Metacritic score. So if you look up Fire Emblem Three Houses, it's sitting at a clean 89% on Metacritic. That's phenomenal, fantastic. Here's my thing. I think that Fire Emblem Engage, which comes out January 20th for an the, fan, the Nintendo Switch family system, console, whatever. It's gonna say that it'd be about between 80 to 85. Now my reasoning is because of what I just said. For the fans of the franchise, like myself, who came along back in 2003, we are going to love it. We are gonna think very highly of this game. But all those new upcomers who bought their Nintendo Switch, Fire Emblem Three Houses was their first one, fell in love with the game, never played any of the other ones, they're gonna think that it's not as good. So I think that's why it's gonna sit between an 80 and 85. Now, what do you guys think? Is it gonna sit around 80, 85? Is it gonna go up? Is it gonna go down? What do you guys think about Fire Emblem in general? Leave it down in the comments below what you think about this game. Are you picking it up? Did you get the Divine Edition or did you get just the regular edition like I did because I missed out on the pre-orders? Happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I had more collector's editions, but it just, some of these things are pretty hard to get. So anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in, liking, subscribing, commenting, all these things. I love you so much. Mwah, peace out. Can't wait to play Fire Emblem Gage. Let's talk later. Peace.